hello everyone i'm fancy welcome again to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to show us how to cut this um two double flare blouse okay um so to quickly get started first thing to do is draft your basic bodies okay like so um make sure you do the normal contouring okay the underboss contouring take your dart underboss contouring then i took my boss darts of 1.5 inches then what else just your normal basic bodies like so okay if you don't know how to do this you can check any of my previous video on i did a tutorial on how to draft this perfectly well so now that being said so next thing to do is to determine where you want your yoke to be okay so for my yoke from this point i'll just place my tape pro like so not from the shoulder not from the top here i'll place my tape pro like this and measure six inches okay so i'll mark it so that's my six inches point then i'll come here and determine the depth of the yoke okay so from here i'm just gonna measure six inches i'm um, sorry seven inches you could make it 7.5 eight inches nine inches it all depends on how deep you want it to be okay so for this i'm taking seven inches or 7.5 let me take it at 7.5 okay so after doing that so next thing i'll just take my ruler my curve and i'll just give it a call from here to here like so okay so that's that for my yoke okay so that's that for my yoke so next thing to do is do not forget i won't say something about um whenever you are taking anything yoke off shoulder whatever you have to take note of you have to take note of the upper bust over bust contouring i made mention about over bust contouring um, my students will understand this better okay do not joke with your over bust contouring what do i mean by over bust this region okay so now next thing i'm going to do is to contour the over bust all i need to do is just get the midpoint of my shoulder So this is four get the midpoint which is two so i'll just place my i'll place a mark there so from that point i'll just connect it from that point i'll just connect it straight to this um my boss points you know this is my boss point okay so i'll just connect it to my boss points like so So having done that next thing i'm going to do is from this point i'm going to measure half inch to the right half inch to the left half inch to the right and half inch to the left so next thing i'll do is i'll just connect a curve and meet it here like so Then from this point, so now that I've successfully contoured the overbust, I've also contoured the underbust. Next thing to do is this, and this is very very important a lot of people tend to ignore this part but this is very very important because the difference between uh, a perfectly finished outfit and a poorly finished one is in your measurement everything lies in your measurement okay do not joke with the way you take your measurement because this affects the total um outcome of your um fab of, of your um outfit okay so now because i've contoured this part you remember that i took half inch here this is um half inch half inch right so this half inch plus half inch is one inch so i'm going to extend this armhole by one inch the reason you have to do this which is very very important is because by the time you take in these dots by the time i take in these dots okay you will notice that the blouse at the top 
will not align better with the yoke. The yoke will now be longer than this part, okay? Because I took out one inch that here. So what am I trying to say? This same one inch I have taken here, I will come towards the arm old region. I'll come towards the arm old region and measure the same one inch here. This is very, very important. Do not, do not ignore this part. It's very, very important, okay? So next thing I'll do is I'll just extend my armhole like so by that one inch. So next thing is I'll take my curve and blend it the same way this curve went like this. I'll just blend it like so. So this will now serve as my new arm hole, okay? So I no longer need this. So this is no longer needed, okay? So next thing to do is I'm done with the yoke. I'm done with contouring my overburst. I'm done with contouring my underburst. So the next thing to do now is to create the, the two flare, the double flare effect on this blouse. So how am I going to do this? Now pay attention here because this is the essence of this tutorial, okay? So how am I going to do this? All I need to do is just come to the M here. This is the M, okay? So all I need to do is come here and measure half inch. But I'm not going to, because this is pattern, okay? You can measure half inch and when you transfer to fabric, you add your um, sewing allowance. But to save us all that, I'm just going to add one inch here. I'm just going, going to add one inch. So I'll measure one inch for my hem. Can you see? This is my one inch, okay? So this one inch, I'll leave it. I'll come to my waistline. I'll come to my waistline. I'll come down by one inch from my waistline. Look at my waistline. Please, do not forget, this is seam allowance, okay? So when measuring, when coming down and measuring, you do not need to measure into your seam allowance okay that side seam allowance is for joining the front to the back okay so i'll come here i'll come down by one inch it's just very easy and simple there's no big deal in this so when you come down by one inch next thing you now come in by 4.5 inches i repeat 4.5 inches like so this is where my 4.5 inches gets to okay this is my one inch here so now I am going to connect these three points. Point one, this is my one inch from the M of the blouse. This is, I came down by one inch here too. Then I came in by 4.5 inches. That is exactly before the dots. okay? So next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to start um, curving it from my waist. You know, I came down by half inch and uh, one inch here. Then I came, I, I came in by 4.5 inches. So I'll go back to my waist. From, so from this waist, I'm just going to take a pencil. So I'm just going to take a pencil hmm, and I'm going to curve it. Sorry, I'm starting from this is the waist. This is the waist, this is the UB under bust, this is the bust, and this is the chest line, okay? And this is my hip line. So now from this waist, from this point, just curve. You curve it in a way that this point here, it meets with this. So I'll just take my curve. Let me see if my curve can walk through this, okay? Something like this, okay? see why your curve is very important i'm using pencil first so that okay so walk around it so from this point now my target is to connect it to this one inch here okay so i'm going to go across the dots this dot here i'm going to go go, go across the dots but before i do that let me just take this up a little bit so that okay Can you see what I'm doing? 
I'm just trying to connect so can you see what I have here can you see what I have here so this way I'll just take my um, marker since I already know where I should mark so I'll just take my marker and take it like so so this is what I have okay so what I'm trying to say this is what I'm going to use to cut my flare okay this is what I'm going to use to cut my flare now if you look at that picture very well you will notice there is an extension where she used them the person used nets okay the she used the net on the yoke and a little portion of the net also extended towards this part so in order to get that all you need to do is just to get um i'm coming back to the flare anyway i'm coming back to the flare so all you need to do is just to get um another piece of paper let me get another piece of paper so as you can see i've gotten my paper okay so what i'll do now is i want to trace out the net design because when you look at that picture very well it is not just a yoke okay it's not just anybody can sew a yoke okay anybody can just cut the yoke that's just place it on the black net fabric and cut it out so that that one is that okay but when you look at this particular picture very well you notice that it's a little bit trickish okay you can do it two ways i'll place my paper under like this and i'm going to pin it down I'm gonna get my paint The essence of pinning it down is because I want to trace the net design out of this pattern, okay? I want to trace it. I want to use the pattern to trace the neck design out. Please pay attention here because it's very, very important. Except if you decide to ignore that design because it's, it's a little bit tricky. So now, next thing I'm going to do, I'll take my tracing wheel. This is my tracing wheel. Hmm? So what I'll do is this. Look at this dart very well. Don't, don't let all this confuse you, okay? So number one thing to do when you want to trace out the black net design out of this pattern is, first of all, I'm just going to trace out my um, neckline. After tracing the neckline, trace the shoulder out. Next is the armhole. To where the um, yoke is, because we are only interested in the yoke, okay? To where the yoke ends. Hmm? So when you get here, you stop. I want us to pay attention here it's very important you can do this in two ways though the picture is not so clear but you can either sew your yoke separately and attach it sew it to the blouse okay and cut out these parts and use it as your neck that you place on the fabric such that when you are joining this and this you join the black necks to the bodies while you attach the yoke separately okay but another method that one is a method one but this method two i want to show us i am going just as i've traced the neckline the shoulder the arm all to this point hmm? now i'm going to start tracing again to this point and stop where this dart gets to here can you see i'll stop here if you notice by the time i want by the time i want to call this fabric i'm going to this pattern i'm going to take away these two darts such that by the time i join it together it will become one piece but for my next fabric i am tracing this like so i'm going to trace it up to this part here 
okay i'm going to trace it up to this part so from this part i'll just trace it down like so follow this center piece okay you follow the center piece design that is exactly what they used for the black necks okay so i'll trace it down down like so when i get to this point this point so I, i'm still gonna trace it down like this so when i get to this point i'll now bring it down and end it here that's all so this is what i am going to use to cut the the black necks such that i am going to add you can add your seam allowance or if you did not include your seam allowance to your nipple to nipple point you can add seam allowance when you transfer to the next fabric okay but if you have included your seam allowance that means you just cut it out and sew it when you are attaching when you are joining the panels together so now i'll continue and bring it down like so go with the curve exactly how it is okay then now on getting to this point now you bring it and go with this curve this curve here down it looks tricky but it's very simple So all I need to do now is to remove my pin and I know you won't be able to see it but I can see the next design. So I'll take this now and keep it aside. So next thing I'll do is I'm going to trace out this next design out. So as you can see, I've already traced it out. So this is how it's going to look like. So next thing is just to cut it out. So this is the design, okay? So this is what I'm going to use to cut the net. So I'm going to keep this aside and work on the flare. So I'll keep this aside and I'll work on the flare. So next thing, so what I'm trying to say, so it will now be like this. It will be like this. Okay. You know, I added... I added an um, allowance to it. I added allowance to it. Okay. So it will be exactly like this. Can you see? So it will go like this. To go like this. Like so. So I'll keep this aside. So next thing I'll do is to cut it out. So let me just cut everything out. So after cutting it out, I have this. Can you see? Okay. So next thing to do is I'm going to join it, okay? I'm going to join it with this. This serves as the flare. I'm um, sorry, as the net, okay? So this serves as the net. It's time to join it such that after joining it, then that is when you now attach your flare, okay? So after joining it, you can now cut measure the distance here and use it to cut your flare okay so all i need to join this just like i said you can either cut out your yoke and join the yoke to the blouse okay you join this p 
piece together these three you join them together first then you join your yoke okay that's you detach the yoke from here then you place this one before you join the yoke before you join these three together you place the lower part on this and you place this on top like this okay then you join this together before you now join the yoke and you use your lining to turn it okay to give you um uh, neat edges and um, neat finishing but if you don't want to do that there's a way but this is very tricky if you can do this then so be it so the first thing to do here is place this like this you first of all place this like so on it don't forget when transferring to your fabric it's very important don't forget to add half inch seam allowance at the top and on the side okay for the joining but because this is directly on paper you also add seam allowance here and on the side um this part so next thing i'll do is place it like so such that this one goes up that's the half inch allowance goes up so this allowance up here is what you use to use your lining to turn it okay so that's being said so next thing i'll do is i'll just place it like so so let me just pin it down so that it doesn't get to shift the next thing you take this one hmm? you place it like so but because this is paper you know i didn't add them um, what is it called um extra allowance i'm supposed to put allowance here and put allowance here okay so because this is paper i know so i'm just going to sew like so but before i sew i'll fold in the half inch allowance i want to use to turn this part okay just fold it a little like this so when you fold a little like this just place it you can you see now that it's short here this part is shorter because i didn't add the allowance this is just pattern i'm supposed to place this on fabric to use it to cut fabric but because i'm just trying to use paper to finish this i hope it doesn't tear anyway so you understand that so you have to add your half inch so i'm going to sew like so so i'm going to sew making sure that this allowance here you don't sew on it you leave it open okay because by the time you turn it to this part that's what you use to join this side so i'll just sew it half inch like this so let me quickly do that so can you see i'm done joining it can you see what i did here hmm? from here to this point making sure you you leave this half inch allowance because that's what you use to turn the embossed here okay so i haven't done it this way next thing i'll do is let me zoom this so that we can see properly so now i haven't done this next thing i'll do is look at what i want to do you know this is paper so i'm being careful if you turn it you have this right so this will be your arm hole, right so i want to turn it to this side so that i can join this to this okay don't forget this is the um main fabric this is the net okay so let me pin this part so that it doesn't get to shift while sewing okay so now watch carefully so after sewing this hmm, I'm going to notch this part where the um, where the thread ends. I will notch it so that it will be easy for me to turn to turn to this part. Okay, so watch what I will do. So because I've notched it, see what I'm doing. I will turn it, turn it in such a way that I pick this one under, and I'll start sewing. Can you see where this one ends? Okay, I'll pick it. And i'll start sewing so i'm going to sew till i get to this part making sure that you pick the one on that two okay you pick the three of them together can you see what i'm doing so i'm going to sew it as you can see i'm done sewing it okay can you see i'm done sewing it okay so next thing i'll do is i'll notch it please note 
and it's because this is um, paper i'm just using paper to illustrate this please if you're if if you're sewing on fabric ensure you must have turned your um you must have put your um what is it called lining apart from lining you put your stay okay then you also add your wording for the um, padding okay except if you don't want to put um wording so make sure you put your stay and lining you use lining to to turn it and if you don't want to do it like that you can sew everything so the line is separately and turn everything okay you use your lining to turn everything so i will not it so the next thing i'll do is i'll just turn it i'll carefully this is paper and i don't want the paper to tear ah good i have to be careful so the paper won't tear away. So can you see this is one part of it can you see how how lovely it is can you see so this is just one part of it okay so the same way i have done this did you see the way i did this can you see it's well relaxed the yoke with the um net the net on the fabric okay this is the fabric this is the net okay it's because i use pin to hold this so by the time you want to attach by the time you want to attach use lining to turn everything okay if by the time you want to use lining to turn it that's you must have put your wording here your stay and your wording so when you want to use the lining to turn it, you see this allowance i was emphasizing on this half inch here so this is what you use to turn it so you do not necessarily need to mind about this place being open by the time i sew this part too it would hold everything firm okay so let me quickly do the second part then we'll attach the flare so to attach the same thing i folded the upper part okay i've also folded allowance here so this allowance for the upper parts you know this is how it's meant to be i'm supposed to sew like this right right so like this right so what i'll do is i'll come up a little bit and i'm going to sew like this it's supposed to be like this so i'll turn it like this and i will join leaving don't forget don't make the mistake just like i said there leave the half inch allowance you used to turn it and let it be on a straight line with this line okay the half inch allowance let it be on a straight line with this so i'm going to sew like this then after sewing i'll turn it and sew this part so i'm done sewing it so the next thing i'll turn it like so and carefully turn it exactly the same way i did the other one okay so i'll turn it like this and I'll sew from the top. Normally, you know when we are sewing anything bust here, we usually start from the down part. No, in this case, you be starting from the top so that it will be equal, okay? So finally, this is what I have. Can you see the shape? It's coming out now. So I also went for that to take in my dart, okay? My bust dart. I took in the bust dart, okay? So can you see how lovely it is? So this allowance here this is what you use to turn the lining okay you use it to turn the lining this part is open do not bother okay just use it to turn your lining that's what you use it to turn it so after using lining to turn it like i said you can use a lining to turn it or you can um turn it with lining before joining all the panels okay but it's always better to join it first then join your lining separately then use it to turn everything so after doing that next thing to do now <clears throat> after doing that next thing to do now is to cut the flare okay